It seems like the atom is doing this motion on its surface, in so much as the electron is the outer surface of the atom. If you go and read about the nature of the orbitals, they're not like the orbitals are emergent from the waves that the that mass is doing inside of the ether. They're like these are just the platonic shapes, and when you add electrons, you get you get to see them. And the electron is just like if you imagine a, a, a spherical metal ball, and you hit it, right? The way it would vibrate, the lowest vibration, like the s orbital, like, and then the next level would be for the p orbital. You would have these lobes. You know, it gets more complicated, right? But that's how you get the spherical harmonics. It's not really a particle. It's, it's an excitation. It's a, it's another level of drive. Yeah. You're overdriving this this surface. Is what you're doing. Like when you have a music instrument, you have the lowest tone, and you have another violin playing another tone. So you have multiple vibrational modes, and then each mode is an electron, and then you also have to spin one and up and down. And so you just you're adding more frequencies to it, more vibrations. 